Hallo ihr Lieben, hier ist wieder fast in Hamburg. So, have fun with the second part of my interview with Kai. Kai is um, such, uh, yeah, how can I be describe It's amazing to talk with him. I like um, his attitude. In this uh, part you will get the information about Ido Portal. So we follow about Ido Portal. Also, Kai talk about the structure, integration, um, treatment. Um, about uh, yeah, it's uh, similar to rolfing, and yeah, he is also a therapist like me. So see his meaning, how we should treat people. I can just say he say everything is a whole. We should treat the physical aspect and also the um, psycho psychological aspect. So. Yeah, it's such amazing interview. Enjoy, enjoy, enjoy. The, the hunter gatherers they were they were assumed to to uh, spend like eighteen to fifteen to eighteen hours a week looking mm. for food, and uh, then they had uh, the time off. Yeah. So and and it it all also depends on the movement yes. what type of movement are you doing and i'm i'm not i'm not a, a study of ido uh, like one of his students but i i implement his ideas and i i, yes. I listen to what he, he says and i i try to to do my own kind of yes movement also in, from what I believe and what I see and what I yes. what I like I don't try to to uh, imitate someone so yeah yeah I mean this is important <laughs> too that we, we stay at, at our own <laughs> person and yeah yeah absolutely because everyone is uh, special <laughs> I mean it's yeah. a reason why everyone is <laughs> different and yeah absolutely yeah and um, sometimes you go in the forest. I mean, now you live in a flat. Like it looks like a flat or a house or um, in, in Oslo. Yes. Or is it this? This is a small flat just outside Oslo, um, oh, and yeah. I have like two hundred meters to go, and I, uh, then I'm I'm in the woods. Okay, nice. So, so uh, I do I do a lot of walking in the woods. I do a lot of bare feet running in the woods. Um, wow. Yeah. Yeah. I I don't. Uh, have shoes or, well I have shoes but I don't have running shoes <laughs> I always uh, I always run uh, barefoot or in a minimalist shoe yeah so, so what what um, brand do you can recommend in well I can only recommend uh, the Vibram five fingers because it's, those are the only ones I've used uh, okay until now so that's interesting yeah. I, I um, came to Soul Runner Soul Runner they have very thin, um, yeah, I think it was two pounds, three millimeter, the sole. Okay, yeah. And this mm -hmm. is, I mean, the name sole run. And um, what I like is, because I started with the T1s around and you have so much um, space for your teeth, uh, for your tooth. So this is yeah. um, my favorite. <laughs> because five yeah, fingers, yeah. I don't know, um, some people, do you wear it with a very five finger? I mean, they have different. Yeah. yeah. And you had no problems? No. Well, no, no. That's no problems thing. now. When I first started out uh, yeah. 12, 13 years ago with those, um, I, it was, uh, I had problems uh, on, with uh, getting them on my feet because my feet wasn't uh, yeah. adapted to this kind of shoe. So I was struggling a bit uh, at the beginning yeah. with these shoes, but now it's just like uh, a normal shoe. So I don't have any problems with it now. Yeah. But uh, um, I have to buy some new ones because they are uh, totally, <laughs> <laughs> totally trash now. So <laughs> yeah, maybe you can look at the German company, so runner. I don't know how, how is Five Fingers, is this a German company or is this an American? No, I think it's basically origins from uh, Italy, ah. but uh, they, they moved to, to uh, the States um, a few years back, yeah. Okay. Ah. But I'll, I will check them out, Soul Runner. 
Yeah, we can um, put the links in, in our <laughs> conversation and then yeah. I, I can send you. Yeah. Absolutely. And um, maybe it would be nice, Kai, if you can just say um, the, I think it was counted like 10, 10 points. We, you said this, this uh, has a person um, has to do if it's, how can I say, in a good um Constitution. I mean, uh, uh, you you told about doing a, a squat is very important for a person. So mm -hmm. you told about a few things. What is very important for for us in this t this time too? Do you know what I mean? To, to um, have yes, a um... basic movement or have a basic good constitution? So yeah. So so. Yeah, I'll try to uh, name uh, some things I think it's important. And yeah. uh, the okay. first thing is to uh, decide that you want to try yeah. and just think that it's, it's totally fine to be uh, not good <laughs> in the beginning. Yeah. And, and, and then just try to, to get down in a fl uh, flat heated squat yeah and 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 just keep on doing it every every day and then just for like five minutes or so um every day and 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 then eventually you will get better you will get stronger maybe initially you can feel some pain in your ankles in your knees or stuff like this yeah but don't be afraid it's not dangerous we are designed to move and we are designed to to rest in a squat yeah uh, actually. and 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 um, you can also try using a tennis ball or something under under your feet try to to squeeze the ball into your feet and try to open up um, the foot because the foot is really uh, yeah. very important for the rest of the body yes yeah. Uh, because everything is connected and if if your foot is not able to move we have uh, 33 joints in our feet and if those joints doesn't move this will affect your ankle your knee your hip yeah. uh, your back uh, everything so yeah. Yeah. just start to to look at at the foot as a system not as a singular part of the body that's good. And this goes for for everything in um, yeah. in the body when it comes to movement. Everything is connected through the fascia, through the muscles, and and movement is how we can how we can uh, load these structures and and, uh, yeah. and play with them. And don't be afraid to play with movement. Uh, try to free yourself from thinking in a, a like a workout program and stuff like this just try to get down on the floor and and try to move in a fluid way and uh, there is so much stuff to think about when it comes to movement yes so reducing sound for example if you can if you are jumping on the floor and you you take a jump and yeah i did it now what <laughs> then mm -hmm. but you can take this concept further you can think of okay if i try to jump from from there to there and then try to make the landing as soft as possible without no noise yeah and and there is so many things you can do and yeah eat clean drink yeah. lots of water uh, yeah. move alone with your family with your kids uh, old people yeah. yeah so you can you know you you can move everywhere on the bus on the on the train uh, even in the car to some extent you can move but, but uh, so it's it's just try to free yourself from uh, thinking in in, in a yeah. box it's funny that you say in the car because i have my band in my car and if we if we stop on the um light 
so if it's red, I, I take my my <laughs> band and make my exercise for the shoulder. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. You, yeah, you can be very creative with movement and and Absolutely. I think the important um, thing what you say is go on the floor and if you go on the floor, I mean we came from the earth, we are living on our earth. It's yeah. more yeah. important back to go back on the floor and yeah, let's let's see what your body can do. <laughs> Absolutely, and, and, and you, can, you can also make this uh, challenge for yourself uh, that uh, this weekend, for example, I will not sit in my sofa, I will not sit in a chair, I will spend the whole weekend on the floor. That's nice. Eat, Why? <laughs> eat meals on the floor, uh, drink coffee on the floor while you are texting. You can spend some time on the floor and try to move on the floor. Yeah. Try to get up and down without using your arms and stuff like this. And, and it's, uh, there's so many things you can do in terms of, of movement and uh, without yeah. thinking of exercising and without having to go uh, anywhere and to sign up for an expensive gym membership. You can, you can, do, you, you can move totally. Yeah, but <laughs> what do you think is the main problem that lots of people go in the gym? I mean... Isn't that the motivation? They have here lots of people around and low, loud music and they got the motivation because lots of people do something. <laughs> Absolutely, yes. Uh, I think there is uh, many good reasons to go to a, a, a gym. Yeah. And, and uh, the motivation factor in, in like uh, loud music and, and watching other people uh, push themselves hard is motivating yes. but at the same time a lot of people are living in a high state of stress yeah high state of, of, of uh, sim, uh, symptomatic uh, activity yeah. uh, in the nervous system yeah. so we need to calm things down and I'm a strong believer in scaling down and try to live a simple, uh, quiet life. And uh, this makes it very valuable to stay at home and move on the floor and, and uh, in the woods outside and uh, use nature as your gym. You can, you can find a, a tree, you can climb a tree, you can push a tree. Uh, so <laughs> yeah. you can do a lot of stuff. Yeah, that's right, and it's uh, it's make fun. So if I go uh, for a walk with my boyfriend, and I, I do, and yeah, every time I do something <laughs> on the, with with, a, with the rocks or with the, yeah, like I said, or with the wood. Yeah. Also nice um, if you lie back on a wood, like with your with your back, you lie. <laughs> so yeah, yeah, for yeah. our spine. Yeah, yeah. Mm. So in in. Um, Japan, they have this uh, concept of, of uh, forest bathing. Mm -hmm. yeah. Can you, yeah, you have to send me the um, links. Maybe we can. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So go go outside and hug a tree and connect with Mother Earth and uh, yes. yeah, start yeah. to live and, and, and don't just exist, start to live. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so interesting. So lots of stuff to talk about it. I mean, yeah, absolutely, it's, absolutely. It's, it's our, yeah, it's, it belongs to us. Our the movement, but uh, lots of people don't think about it. Um, unfortunately, yeah, it's pity. I mean yeah. that um, that lot. Yeah, lots of people, like I said, it's um, they they know they have to do something, so they go in the fitness center and go with stress. So not uh, yeah. open and yeah that's not so nice yeah. but i think uh yeah like um we do a like we we talk today it's a, a little amount some people will listen and <laughs> will think about it i mean yeah yeah for us i think for you too was some point in our life was um the start to to think about uh, if it's good what we do and so yeah yeah, yeah. And um, is it possible, Kai? Um, oh, yeah, and please t drink a water. <laughs> Do you want to? Do a, yeah. Hydrate. Yes. 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 <laughs> <laughs> it's important for for talking. 
just I want um, if it's okay we can continue just 10 minutes I mean um, if it's okay for you we can just continue um, a few minutes more because I, I'm curious about Thomas Meyer <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. and how um, how your treatment is with Thomas Meyer or how you do it is it is it that you find out the myofascial problems and your or how you can i mean maybe you can uh, try to explain for for a person who do who are not informed in in our body too much for an office clerk or <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. so um how you do your thomas meyer stuff <laughs> yes so I trained with the Thomas Myers in 2006, uh, structural integration. Yeah. It is a, it is a treatment uh, modality that seeks to bring um, balance between, between uh, uh, how the skeleton push out and how the soft tissue are pulling in. Yeah. It, it's like a, Tensegrity structure, where you have, where you have, if you think of the skeleton as a, a tent pole, and then you have the tent and uh, yeah. the tissue as the fabric over uh, the tent pole. Yes. You understand? Yeah. Yes, yeah. So it's it's trying to to uh, bring uh, equalness balance uh, into the between the skeleton and the soft tissue and i'm looking for for like rotations uh, uh okay uh, bends in in the body if a person come in and he's like this yes and he's pointing to his neck and tell me that i have pain in my neck yeah and if i only work in the neck he will or she will feel maybe some temporarily uh, yeah. relief. Yeah. But if we don't work here and yeah. try to make this tissue longer, yeah. he or she will come back next week and pointing at the neck again. <laughs> so <laughs> yes. we need to work the underlying structure um, in terms of uh, bring this balance into the whole structure. Because if you have a collapsed or a fall down structure like this, uh, it is very, very hard to bring um, uh, sustainable relief to the body. Yeah. Yeah. So by, by working with the physical body, you can also affect how you are feeling emotionally and how you are feeling energetically and and uh, so it's it's a system to to work with so you explain body. um also your patients uh, the understand that they understand um why we need to work here and here and also maybe the tummy and you yeah, yeah, yeah. explain it yeah yeah so when i when i first started out using these uh, techniques i was like um how am i gonna explain why i'm working on the hip if they have pain in the neck yeah but i just realized that uh, i need to be clear and 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 uh, and uh, explain them how i see it how yeah. i will work it and then try to get them to understand the connection yes. uh, between the, the hip and, and the neck, for example. So it's, it's, uh, it's a different approach than uh, maybe a trigger point where you just are pushing yeah. on, the, on the area that is painful yeah. uh, than working on this, uh, this way here. So, yeah. yeah and do um thomas meyer also give some some exercises for the clients so well yeah there are some exercises but 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 there are more in a way of 
bringing more awareness to the person instead yeah. of instead of giving them some strengthening exercises but strengthening exercises can can be totally fine very valuable in in certain cases but mm -hmm. uh, the yeah. increased awareness of your own body and how you are carrying yourself through the world and how you are how you you speak to yourself and how you look at yourself in relation to the rest of the world and all the persons uh, are also very valuable so there is a mix of, of uh, many things in there so yeah. the exercises are more in a aware awareness uh, kind of style yeah. okay hmm. Hmm. so yeah it's i mean it's interesting because lots of um um educations come now about fascia and my i say my fascia daddy is a is, is a german guy um who who met uh, have you heard about dr paki <clears throat> dr paki it's a um, pain no. doctor but it's in german yeah so um now now it's it's interesting how the word is colorful <laughs> i mean every um yeah every um Every person has their own philosophy, but at the end we we meet and <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and um yeah know everything again know know everything already, but maybe we didn't remember on it. you know what i mean <clears throat> i mean um, in the past, I had a good uh, teacher he said, um Nasrin, you cannot learn something what you don't know already." Exactly. Exactly. That's so interesting. Yes. I mean, the... yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So the the embodiment of of uh, uh, how you live and how you use your body, how you think uh, around your body, around your life, is so important in terms of when you are teaching others. You need to understand it yourself. And uh, so, yeah, very, very true. Yeah. So and, Thomas Meyer education gave you um, more horizont about about our body, absolutely. about our knowledge, what we have now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Absolutely, and 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 it it also this training has also um, is also implementing a lot of the the science now that uh, is coming. And uh, in terms of fascia, you have uh, Robert Schleip, who is in at the University of Ulm, uh, yeah. <laughs> in, in, and he is absolutely fantastic. And and there is so much uh, science and knowledge coming out of of uh, the study these people uh, yeah. do now. So it's really, really. Uh, great to i've never met robert but but uh ah, okay i was the what was the question what i had yeah i met him yeah. and i made a picture of course with him <laughs> yeah. yeah on the connect yeah. uh, tissues um connection was in 2017 i think yeah in ulm mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, yeah but i think uh, if it's a corona time <laughs> it'll be leave him yeah. Yeah, behind us we we will um he will plan a next connect connective tissues um seminar yeah yeah, yeah. yeah it's, right. it's very interesting but also um what we don't um forget uh, well i think it's important that we remember on um <clears throat> um the rolf the e um from rolfing either either um, yeah either rolf yeah yeah right mm -hmm. <laughs> the name is not easy Ida Rolf, um, I think she was a very um, a grounder of the fascia. Yes, she 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 was the grounder uh, of of uh, of uh, founder of structural integration. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, and and uh, Tom was a student of her, and he ah, okay, also, I didn't know it. He, ah. he also taught for her. So yeah, so basically. Uh, Structural integration is coming from Ida Rolf, but uh, Thomas Myers did his own version with the anatomy trains. Yes. So now, now he's calling it uh, anatomy trains structural integration, which is based around the lines and the myofascial mer meridians from from his book. So yeah. And have you heard about um, 
yeah feedbacks i mean if if the if you have a classical um, rolfing session 10 sessions i think they are 10 sessions 10 hours yeah. Yeah. and yeah and, and if you can, can compare this uh, struct uh, the, the anatomy train structure yes therapy though have you have your got uh, your own experience that um this is better or this is more uh, i don't know this is more effective the the new one i say the new one but <laughs> yeah you know what mm -hmm. i mean mm -hmm. yeah so uh the difference uh, as i have been taught it is is that uh the original rolfing uh, program consists of 10 sessions and they are not including rotations and arms uh, in in the series but anatomy train structural integration is is uh, devoting uh, one full hour of uh, into the rotations in the body and uh, also one hour of uh, one session of uh, working with the arms so you have four four arm lines and you are working all of them in the in the in this session so yeah ah, so okay. that's that's the basic basic uh, uh, okay the difference uh, we can say difference yes and and uh, it also also uh, says that anatomy train structural integration is more an uh, anatomic uh, yeah. anatomical uh, specific than the original rolfing but uh, I haven't experienced rolfing myself, so I don't know. Uh, I don't have anything to uh, compare it with uh, in this. I mean, Robert Schleib is also a rolfer in the yeah, past. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. And mm. and I had a um, session in in Munich, not with not at Robert Schleib, but as as a colleague. <laughs> I mean, uh, and and it was nice. But yeah, I I also made one year the osteopathic uh, seminar. For, for osteopathy so yeah. i mean um at the end i think it it's yeah it, that you find out what the person needs the special the individual person who lives on your li on your on your bed now it's um we have to we have to see what is this uh, source <laughs> what what is the source yeah. of of the problem from this person so yeah, yeah, yeah. It's nice yeah. to have the lots of tools and um, and, the, and uh, was so important yeah. that we that we make seminars and get more now knowledge about it. But yeah, yeah. yeah. like I, for my feeling, every person is special and yeah. And uh, what is also very important is the mind. So if yeah. the, don't of the if the person don't don't want the full flexibility because of a trauma because of a past um yeah then we can do everything but the person will got will 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 hold this yes. structure tight absolutely yeah you need to be you need to be ready for uh, doing doing the work and uh, going through the process uh, yeah yeah of, well, all the work, yeah. So for me, a good therapist is also um, a person who, who can can see what what is with this person, maybe yeah. a bit a bit psychological <laughs> program or a bit um, yeah background maybe, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But the, these are these are, are so intertwined uh, uh, things. There is, uh, in, in my world, uh, psychological and the physical is just one thing. Yeah. So, yeah. 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 So that's, yeah. Uh, that's, that's, the, that's the beauty of, of the holistic way of thinking, um, I yeah. believe, is that you are, you, are, you are looking at the whole and you are treating the whole and you are, there is more um to it than just uh, individual parts and uh, it's a totally different game when you start to work um, yeah 
This makes yeah. so interesting our job. I mean, <laughs> this yeah, is yeah, yeah. The, yeah. Yeah, the challenge. <laughs> yeah. yeah, absolutely. absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, nice. So thank you very much, Kai, <laughs> that we had no, no uh, this conversation this morning. And yeah, yeah. yeah I mean, um, there are lots of topics and we can talk. I, for my for my feeling we can talk more and more and more <laughs> and it's yeah. yeah i think it's interesting to it's really nice to connect with the people living in other countries and uh, which have uh, different experiences uh, and different approaches to yeah. things and yeah it's absolutely fantastic <laughs> Yeah, and I saw your um, your YouTube channel has no English uh, videos. Okay, um, already, or maybe. Well, no, <laughs> there is there is one English video that, that is just promoting my uh, one of my. Well, it's it's a bundle of of uh, my ebook and uh, okay. the two uh, yeah. and the two video courses I made uh, so far. So that's the only English uh, on there. Uh, for now but uh, I'm planning on having more than in English so I mean today now <laughs> you can you can download it <laughs> we have yeah. one one uh, conversation one nice conversation now yeah. yeah for me for me too I have just German uh, <laughs> videos but I yeah. think yeah if we if you want to share your your opinion with with the world you you have to do it in English <laughs> yeah so yeah I have yeah. to Make the challenge. <laughs> so, okay, then I am um, stopped now. Mm -hmm. um. So, I hope you had the same fun like me. Um, yeah, I like person such guy. I can repeat all the time because um, I like his spirit and he is so motivated to. Um, get the people more uh, informed about what is healthy for us and what is good also for body weight or I mean the mobility the movement everything so yeah let me know how you uh, you find the interview uh, please comment you can also comment in Instagram Nasvin Schneider or also you find every link from Kai here in this um, show notes and yeah i wish you a nice day and please follow my podcast i hope um we got more uh, more of, um, periods in english so i will see check out my website and get mobile bye bye nasmin schneider <laughs>